Ew, what is that? Oh my god, Bree. Ah! Oh, come here, come here. Ah! Ew! Ew! Oh my god. That is an eel, a straight up eel, guys. Like an actual freaking freshwater eel. VFP Nation, welcome back to another awesome video, guys. Today, we're starting off the video at the Predator Pond. Check it out. My last video, we got a big new addition to it. There he is, he's right there. Oh my gosh. We got ourselves a big old red tail catfish. Literally, my dream fish. He is so sick. We also transferred the tiger shovel nose catfish. Now, I failed to do it in the video because he was very elusive, but later that night, I came back out with the net and I got him out. We got the shovel nose in here, we got the red tail. Of course, we got our giant bass, we got our peacock and our big Oscar. The predatory pond is coming along very nicely. But yeah guys, today's video is not about that. Today's video is about smaller fish, rarer fish. I think today we're gonna hit up one of our spots and we're gonna try and catch fish for my new planted tank. 125 gallons, lots of plants in it, just set it up. So far we only have like three or four species of fish in there and pretty much all of them Brandon caught. If you guys don't know, Brandon has his own channel. It's called Judo Brandon. I'll link it down in the description. He has caught gold gouramis. He's caught little tiny puffer fish. He's been killing it. The tank looks great and it's all fish that he's caught. I've only caught the fire reel and I've only caught the loaches for it. So I'm slacking. I gotta get out there and I wanna like one up them. I wanna catch something cool myself for it. That's what we're doing guys. Let's hit up one of our spots, play some fish traps and see if we can get something cool to put into our tank. We'll see you guys there. Real quick guys, I forgot I was gonna name the red tail over there when I was showing you it. We're going to name him Blaze. Blaze the red tail catfish. Brandon has been obsessed with that. He's like, bro, we gotta name it Blaze. We gotta name it Blaze. I'm like, fine, fine. We'll name it Blaze, Brandon. So shout out to all you guys. I know a bunch of you guys commented that. So Blaze is the name. Let's go catch us some cool fish. Guys, we're here at a new spot. It's a little bit windy over here. Hopefully you can hear me good. This is a completely new spot. We've never done a video here. But I have inside information that there's some really cool fish in here. We know there's croaking garamis. It's around the same area where I catch a lot of the cool aquarium fish. So this is a new spot. We're just exploring. We're seeing where we can get some uh, croaking garamis today. A fed gator is a dead gator. What does that even mean? I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, garamis. Oh my god, oh my god. There's a red fish. There's I don't know a red fish. Is. Oh my god. Boom. There's, there's aquarium fish here. There's colorful fish. That's awesome. That is a big gator right there. Oh my gosh. Can I climb up here? No, I can't climb up here. Okay, Bray, this is the spot. This is where my friend told me that there was croaking gourmies right in here, but it looks like it's a little, little drained and it goes back deep into the Everglades over there, but it's really low right now. Water level dropped, as you can see, it usually is up here and I don't really see many fish. We might have to go deep into there to find like a deep pocket. We might have to go around. We're gonna find some cool fish today. Hopefully, like I said, some croaking gouramis. Never caught croaking gouramis before. Okay guys, we walked a little further down. See over here, it's really deep. This is all water. It's just covered with lily pads. I think I found the spot. This is where we're putting the trap. Yeah, it's hot. All right guys, you know what? It's really hot here. I'm not gonna keep walking and try and find a spot. I think this'll do. This looks really cool. And you know me guys, I love my tunnels, I love my pipes. That's always where the fish are at. They're always in the structure. So if you take a look right here, like this is all the marsh. This is all like the wetlands type stuff. There's gators, pythons, all that sort of wildlife in here. Let's bait up our fish trap. Like I said, my friend has come here. This is like his best spot, he said, for croaking gouramis. I don't know how they got established here, but you guys can look it up. It's actually like, they're pretty big around here. There's a lot of them. So let's get our cat food. And put some in there. There we go. Cat food, guys. Like I always say, it's the best fish trap bait. Everything just loves cat food. It's got such a strong scent and oil in it. Three. Mm. Left to right. Left to right. Come on. Eeny, meeny, money. Always hold me to the very best one. And you are it. It's you are not it. Whatever. That so one. Is this one? Yeah. All right. I said that one. I know. <laughs> That's so rude. Come on, guys. Come on. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I should just put it down in the middle. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. How deep is this? I might not have enough rope. 
Oh, please don't oh, be too deep. You was screwed. Please you don't can be tie too it. deep. Oh, wait, it's all right. It's already at the bottom. It's not even that deep. Where does this go to? I think this goes across over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, look over there. That's the same thing as over here. So this is like a little tunnel thing. That's where the fish are going to be at. They're under this road. That is so crazy to think about. Okay, guys, so this pipe right here, when this overflows, like it goes in here, but at the very bottom, there's a pipe and that pipe runs all the way under the road, under the ground, wow. over to that side. So this is like a little highway, a little tunnel for these fish. And I think, I think when it's hot like this, they go in there. Did I just, yep, I did. The rope is down there. <sighs> You know what? We'll you can just uh, just go around and step on that thing. Are you crazy? No, I'll just get my fishing rod. I'm not going in there. You're Why crazy. Not? We just saw like a 10 foot gator. I will see you guys in probably like two to three hours. We're going to let this one marinate. We'll be back here and uh, cross your fingers. We get something cool for our new fish tank. We'll see you then. Okay, you guys, we're almost at the spot. It's around three hours later. It's actually been a while. So I'm hoping we have a lot of fish in the trap. It's right up here. I've actually come in and I've been looking like, look at all this water over here. There's so many spots to do our trap. Probably gonna have to make a part two if we catch something cool in this. But yeah, I am excited. The trap is right here. We're gonna pull straight up to it. Dude, I'm nervous. Should I just like try to pull up to it? Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull straight up to it. We're here. We're pulling straight up. Front row seats, baby. Let's go get some fish. I got a rod. We don't have the line. It's down there. Whoa. Oh, God. I did not think this through. You keep stabbing me. I'm pole. sorry. I'm trying to get it, dude. I'm going to pass out. It's so I know. Hot. Hurry up. I can't get it. Oh, my God. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. It won't stay calm. Okay, guys. Moment of truth. Screw the fishing rod. We got our trap. We're pulling it up. It's like stuck in the seaweed, dude. Hold on. Croaking grummies. Ew. Ew, what is that? Oh, my God. Bree. Oh, my. No freaking way. You're kidding me. Are you kidding me? Bree. Oh, my gosh. No way. Look at this thing. What? That's a fire eel! The thing is massive! Look at that thing! Oh my gosh, it's massive! That's the biggest one I've ever seen. It's gonna look like Ew. Ew! Ew! Oh, it's spiny! Oh my god, we actually just caught a fire eel, Brie! Do you understand how insane that is? Nope. That is it, and it's a big one too. This is like not a baby. Look at that thing. Oh, I wanna grab him. Come here. You gonna get electrocuted. Oh, it's, so, it's so freaking slimy! Oh my gosh! How do you even grab this thing? Oh, I need a net. Oh, it's so spiny. Come on, use some muscles. It's like walking. Ah! Oh, come here, come here. Ah! Ew. Ew. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need a net. Bring me a net. Give me a net. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Ah! Oh, get a, get a net. Get a net. Get a net, Bree. <laughs> this one? Yes. I, I can't grab him. He's too slimy. <laughs> ah! Don't go back in. No. If this thing... I got him. Oh my gosh. I am freaking out right now. I'm freaking out. <laughs> Bree, get up here. Get up here. I, I, this is insane. This is like the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> Dude, look at this, you guys. That thing is so cool. Oh my gosh, easy. Bree, try to get a good shot of that. Wait, the sun's coming up. This thing is really pretty. Can you see those colors? We're bringing it over towards me. I can't. I cannot handle this thing. I, I don't know how. He's like, he's he's a snake. The thing is massive. <laughs> Here, you go in the cooler. Ew. Ew. Oh my God, that is the sickest thing that I have ever caught. Like, no joke. I'm going to aerate her. <laughs> oh. That is not what I was expecting, but I will take that. Any day over a stupid little grommy. Yeah, stupid. Stupid grommy. Stupid. Oh, look, there's still minnows from yesterday. This is not. This is not clean water. I don't know if I should change it, but look, there's like little minnows in it. You should. This is from yesterday. That thing. Comparison. That's like. That's like a full. Maybe not full grommy. I think they get like up to three foot. That is probably foot and a half, maybe. Right. I don't know. I failed math. Okay. Um. <laughs> actually, that that might be a, a an adult. That's like close to two feet, I'd say. I just need a second. I just need a second because I had no idea.
that there was fire eels in here. I also had no idea there was fire eels in the other spot we've caught them at. So maybe, dude, I'm starting to think fire eels are, are actually a lot more common than we might think here in Florida. It's not too far from, it, it's like the same sort of water system where we caught the other one, but that's still insane. Here you are, oh my gosh, he's so freaking cool. We have three fire eels now, all wild caught. Look at him, hey buddy. Come here, can I pick you up? It's not a dog. Yes, he is. Look how pretty that thing is. Oh it's impossible to hold, just letting you guys know. This thing is actually impossible to hold. That is an eel, a straight up eel, guys. Like an actual freaking freshwater eel. Look at him, oh my God, he just came up for air. Wait, do they breathe air? Don't know. I don't know, guys. Let me know if they breathe <laughs> air or not. I don't even know if I need this aerator, but I'm just playing it safe because this thing is really cool. And we're definitely bringing him back to one of my ponds. Off the top of my head, I'm thinking maybe we put them in the koi pond. That would be freaking sick. So let's get one more look at them. Every time I catch something like this, it's very hard to show you guys. And you're always like, oh, we want to see the fish better, but it's really hard because it's like, oh my gosh, look at them. I just want to get, let you guys see them really good. Look at those colors here. I'm going to try and bring it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He is so, look at the dots on him. Look at that. I'm freaking out right now. I'm so happy. I am so happy. We're closing you off, buddy. We're going to bring you home. Don't you worry. These guys are not native, right? There's there's actually no way. I think they're from like Asia. Or That's, that, was a, that was a guess. I don't that know. That was a terrible guess. No, they're definitely from like Asia. All right. Okay. Hardcore parkour. Screw the other fish. Let's go. Well, no, if there's other fish, they're dead for sure. They're no. done so. No, there's no fish. Okay, thank God. I just realized I didn't check for other fish. Thank God there was no other fish or else they would be smoked. You guys, seriously, this is insane. This is why I love doing what I do. Like placing a fish trap here, not knowing what you're gonna get. I thought I was coming here to catch croaking gobramis and I catch a giant fire eel. The biggest one we caught before that was probably this big. That thing is legit like that big. That is absolutely insane. So I'm gonna head back to my house. If you guys want us to come back, do another part two here in the swamp, the Everglades swamp, let me know. We definitely have to do a 24 hour challenge in one of what? these, you know, yeah, a 24 hour fish trap. Like where you hide in the water? No, I just put the fish <laughs> trap in for 24 hours. <laughs> we'll see you guys back at my house. All right, guys, we're back at my house. We got Ely Dan. Ely Dan, where are you at? Oh, there he is, he's up here. Guys, we named the fire eel in my tank Ely Dan for all you, you know, Steely Dan fans out there. A lot of you guys commented that. That's like the perfect name. So from now on, we're gonna name every eel Ely Dan. Let's get them out. We're gonna get them into the koi pond. I don't even know if he's gonna like fit in here. Come on, get in, get in. Oh, he's swimming backwards. I got him, I got him, I gotcha. Here we go, guys. Ah, I gotcha, run. There you go, guys. It's like perfect, the, the temperature is literally the exact same. It's a shame, it's later in the day, you guys, so you can't really see the light on them, but let me get one more look at them. Look at those red dots, oh, he's going crazy. All right, dude, I'll, I'll put you in. There we go. Oh my god, that's the sickest fish. That is the sickest fish. That is the sickest fish I've ever seen. Where did he go? I think he's down here under the under the filter. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Look how cool that is! Oh my gosh. Guys, he's gonna be loving life in here. There's tons of natural food like little shrimp, little mosquito fish that you know the fish like the Oscars eat. And it's it's perfect. They sustain themselves. There's a ton of mosquito fish in there. You can see some swimming around down there by the albino placo. But yeah, like look at all the little mosquito fish. He's gonna be eating all that. I'm gonna try and tr train him on, you know, dead stuff like tilapia and frozen stuff like that. There's his little head poking out. <laughs> oh my gosh, he is so cool. That might be my favorite fish in here. Like look how cool he is. That is so sick, dude. We also have an arowana. There's the arowana. Oh back there it's funny you guys the koi pond is slowly transitioning into just like an oddball pond just a little bit of everything and i am loving it so yeah guys right now every single one of you watching go down to the comments and comment a name that you want me to name oh wait no i i named it ely dan yeah okay i named it ely dan if you don't like it comment another name we'll see i don't know but yeah guys that is so freaking sick. It's always the videos. It's always the videos when we go to a new spot. We don't know what to expect. And we always catch something really cool. So you guys, if you did enjoy, please go down there. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.